What's going on everybody, RJ from RJ Football Talk here. Now let me break it down for you real quick. First of all, congratulations is in order to the Baltimore Ravens for winning Super Bowl 47. Way to go. Now as you can tell by the title, it says rant. And no, I am not ranting that the 49ers lost. Because actually I picked Baltimore to win. But, my rant, I never thought I would be one of those guys. You know those guys. You know, you got tinfoil on the head, everything's a conspiracy theory. Well, watching last night, watching the Super Bowl last night, I found some tinfoil and, you know, I tried to put it on my head, see how it looked. I think I look pretty smashing. So, I'm going to go with it. Watching the Super Bowl last night. Now, I'm not going to get into all the fancy statistics and pretend like I know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to speak from the heart. Watching the Super Bowl. First half. Great game. I don't care what the score was. That was a good game. Kaepernick, a little shaky at first. Started to get a little bit of rhythm. You know, horrible. You, what I enjoyed most about it, 49ers were not playing at an elite level. But I could understand, you know, I, I enjoyed the fact watching, you know, Jim Harbaugh trying to get his quarterback into a comfortable state, try to manipulate the Ravens' defense, and you know, come up with a scheme mentally. That I enjoy that aspect of the game because I enjoy the game for what it is. I I enjoyed watching Joe Flacco playing. I, I have never seen him play like that the way he did in the first half. That just blew my mind. I, I want to write him down as a top five quarterback. I'm not. A top ten, I'll give him that for sure. I want to write him down as a top five. I, I just can't do it. But, like, I don't care what the score was. Like, I, I think it was like 20 something to three. And you can just, even though it was dominant, you can just, if you love the game of football, it was actually a pretty good game. And then, you know, here comes the second half. Ravens take it for a touchdown. Okay. Alright. And then I got the wondering. I mean, I'm not the NFL fan I used to be. I'm not going to lie. I prefer college football a hundred times more than the NFL, but I do believe you have to like both in you know in order to coexist because they coexist with each other you know you have to you can't like one and not the other I still like the NFL but I'm not the huge fan I once was anyways like I said I got to thinking now I'm sure more people are higher on the NFL than I am but when you watch a 20 I believe at that point it was 28 to 6 blowout because you know most NFL fans, at least the way, at least the people that Roger Goodell tried to bring in, I'll say that for another rant. I'll probably put it at the end of this video. The the fans that Roger Goodell tries to bring in, they don't understand the game of football. They they think a game that ends 45 to 37 is a football game. That's not a damn football game. But. You know, like I said, these newer NFL fans, the people Roger Goodell is trying to bring in, they see that 22-point deficit, and they think, ah, uh, this is not what I want to watch. And they probably either change the channel, stop looking, maybe look through their TiVo, see what they have recorded. You know, people probably change the channel. Stop watching the Super Bowl. Yes, that happens. So, I'm sure the ratings dropped midway through. And, you know, damn well, Goodell probably had statistics on it. Probably see the viewership drop. I'm not saying he's the guy who did it. I'm not saying who did it. The lights go out. I'm like, holy shit, it's the shield. WWE reference for those of you who are not familiar. But I'm thinking, how convenient, isn't it? The Ravens dominating the 49ers. And the lights mysteriously go out. 
Are you fucking kidding me? Really? So the lights go out for... How long was it? It, it had to be a solid 20 minutes, if not more. And then... Play resumes. And what do you know? The Niners... Make a comeback. Now, I've heard a change of momentum. I understand that happens. But that drastic and it just all of a sudden appeared? Especially in a time where they really needed it? Really? So, Niners score a touchdown. Niners score another touchdown. I believe it was after the second. It could have been after the first. I'm not 100% sure. First of all, the Ravens go from complete and utter dominance to pure shit. And the Niners are walking all over them. To now, Ravens get the ball back after a Niners touchdown. Jacoby Jones, deep in his own end zone. He already returned one for a touchdown. The hunt, it was 109, but excuse me, Jim Nance had to repeat it 50 fucking times. That was 108. So, Jacoby Jones catches it in his own end zone, deep. Looks like he's ready to return it. He catches it. He's ready to go. And he looks down. And he just drops it. Oh, sorry. I wasn't supposed to catch that. Yep, I forgot. So, obviously, what had happened, lights go out. All those people who change the channel, look through their TiVo, maybe watch, you know, a rerun of the Big Bang Theory or some shit like that. You know, they get a call from their friends. Are you still watching the game? No, nah, that it was a blowout. Why? What's happening? The lights just went out. Really? No way. So they flip back to the channel. Viewership goes up. So they all right. Lights went out. Let me stick around. See what happens. Niner score. Niner score. Niner score. Oh, now these dumbasses think we have a game on our hands. Now as soon. As that, as soon as those lights went out, I knew Niners are going to make a comeback. I don't think they're going to win. It was just enough to bring the viewership back in. Because that 34 to 31 score was bullshit. That did not depict how that game went at all. Had the lights not gone out, and we watched a real football game. We would have seen one of the, you know, that old Super Bowl. Remember, Mike Ditka, coach of the Bears, 55-10 to 10 over New England Patriots. We would have saw one of those. But instead, we get this, what seemed to be scripted bullshit. Like Roger Goodell called Vince McMahon of the WWE and said, Hmm, can I make a storyline out of the Super Bowl? I'm losing viewership, Vince. And Vince said, oh, I don't know. I, I'm losing viewership myself. Just turn the lights out and pretend somebody got attacked. Well, well, Vince, I can't attack somebody because I'm a total pussy in turning the NFL into shit. But I will turn the lights off to see if I'll bring back viewership. And what do you know? It probably did. So, And like I said, the play resumed and we had a quote-unquote game. Even though it was a blowout, I enjoyed the first half. I, I was entertained. It was a good football game because I understand the aspect of the game itself. But as soon as that second half came around, complete and other scripted bullshit. By far. I, I don't... I hate to be that guy. This Super Bowl fucking sucked. It was atrocious that second half. I think the first half compensates for the second, so I can't say it's the worst Super Bowl I've ever seen, but Jesus Christ, that was bad. So now, I know this video is going to get a lot of hate, because, oh, you don't like the NFL, you don't know your ass from a hole in the ground. Say what you got to say, whether you, now, if you watch other people, they say, oh, like the video, it helps promote me. Whether you like this video or you dislike this video. Please, I accept it no matter what. Because either way, it helps me get more exposure. So, 
Say what you gotta say in the comment section. Like, dislike, it doesn't matter. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is RJ here. You're welcome.